Hey Ryan, do you want to go to the boathouse this afternoon and row on the ergs for a bit? Yeah, I'd love to go, but I have a test coming up that I want to get some extra studying in for. Also, I have about four hours to study at four ergs a day, and about two hours tomorrow to study your erg. Yeah, Ryan, you're supposed to come with me to study for that test uh, with me this afternoon, and you'll probably benefit from studying. Okay, so that was an example of opportunity cost, and the resource that was used for it was time. And the byproduct for each could be one seat higher in the boat for one hour of erging and ten additional points on the next test for one hour of, from one hour of studying. So that leads to the question of what is opportunity cost? And basically, I would describe it as something you give up in order to get something in return, or it could also be described as a choice. In Ryan's case, he had to choose between study, time studying, and time rowing. Each option had their own trade-offs, such as if he chose to devote six hours of studying with me, he most likely would get a really good grade on his test due to having 60 additional points, but he may fall behind in the boat and not move up any seats. If he decides to go run with Eli for six hours, he would most likely improve on his rowing and move further up in the boat by six seats but he may not do as well as he could on the next test because he didn't have those 60 additional points. Also, he could divide up the time and split it between the two, between the two choices, such as giving three hours to erging and three hours to studying, which can give him benefits for each option, three seats up in the boat and 30 additional points on the next test. When calculating opportunity costs, you will compare how much you gain from the byproduct of the first choice to how much you lose from the byproduct of the second choice. In Ryan's case, one seat would be 10 additional points, which means that his opportunity cost for one seat in the boat is 10 points on the test. And one point on the test is one tenth of a seat in the boat. Now, obviously, you can't have one tenth of a seat in a boat. So maybe he improved on his technique, which could get him closer to kicking out the next person in front of him. Overall, this is just a basic example of what opportunity cost is and how it can be seen in everyday life. I hope this video cleared up what opportunity cost is to you and how it can be used in the real world scenarios. Thank you for watching.